welcome to Northeast News. I'm Tajani Glido. MEM brings you the latest news and information from the Northeast College Preparatory High School campus. Now our top story. The decision to have condoms available in school has finally been made. It was a year-long endeavor that Superintendent Dr. Bohan Vargas called a democratic process. Dr. Vargas explains the school's role in educating our students and how he believes the community involvement will make a greater impact. We are not going to be distributing condom in the classroom or throughout the school. This would be uh, done at the nurse's office or at the um, school health clinic's office. And also only if the youngster is willing to participate in some kind of counseling and other type of uh, receiving appropriate information. Now, let me just say that my wish is that all our children, our youngsters, will have someone at home or within their family, um, including the extended families, that could help them make this difficult decision. In our community, we have a serious problem. And the problem that we are having is that we have too many, particularly adult male, that are engaging in sexual activity we uh, unfortunately younger teenage girls. That is a serious issue and that's not one that this policy doesn't address, but it's one that we have to recognize that too many of our students are at risk. And my hope is that the larger society will play a greater role in, in, um, in um, educating all of us because when we say that youngsters are engaging in social activity, that perhaps may not be accurate. The question that we need to ask is, to what extent should we hold them accountable or educate them? We want uh, all youngsters to be informed and also to make sure that they understand, um, including uh, pressure that might be they put, you know, that they are facing because older male, for example, might be trying to engage them in sexual activity. And we're trying to uh, play an educational role, if you will. Uh, however, part of a good educational program would be that you, uh, we address your social emotional needs as well. And, um, and there are all who believe that that's the role of the family, that the family should play a role. Unfortunately, I do know that, for example, about 20% of our students don't live with mom or dad. That many of them are in foster care and they are living with friends and that they're living in a in situation which is not the most stable. And uh, we want to make sure that all our students receive the help that they might need to make good choices. We are not promoting um, student to engage in sex, but if they are, we are going to be there for them in terms of uh, helping them um, through uh, difficult situation and also most significant how to protect themselves from um, such a, protecting themselves from getting HIV and other um, sexual transmitting disease. But at the end of the day, the school has a role to play, and that is, uh, it's a health issue. And um, when we are talking about, about helping kids make good choices, this is an area that I think all youngsters need some help. Now, I understand that this is not for the teachers or the school to make the decision on behalf of the youngster. What we're saying is that in the event that a youngster is engaged in active sexual activity, um, the school nurse and our health clinic will be providing information as well as uh, uh, preventive measures so that they don't uh, put themselves at risk for uh, all kinds of sexual transmitted disease. Engaging in sex could be could have a, a lifelong impact, including that you might lose your life. The proposal is now in the hands of the State Education Department. 
Final approval will need to be made by the SED in order for condoms to be available in September. If this year's graduating class is anything like the others we've had, 100% of our graduating seniors will be accepted into college. Our juniors are preparing for the next phase in their lives by heading to college day. With more, here's Derek Torres. Students prepare for college day by creating resumes, completing applications, writing essays, and reviewing interviewing techniques. As Dr. Aronson, principal here at Northeast College Prep, explains, it is an experience to prepare them for the future. College Day is a wonderful opportunity for our 11th grade students to have their senior exit interviews. Instead of doing them as a senior, we had them do it in 11th grade so that it would coincide with interviews that they could have with local colleges and universities. They get experience doing the interviews, uh, putting their resumes together, looking at their transcripts, reviewing their attendance, going over their four-year plans, and really taking ownership for the next step in their life and how they're going to plan their future. It's an opportunity that most schools don't have. Oh, I feel that it was good. I was very excited, you know, to be interviewed by a college that's not too far away. Give me a lot of feedback, ask me if I want to ask any questions. Yeah, very well, they looked at my transcript, my report card. She told me that I have hope and that she's looking forward to seeing me at her college. After conducting my interviewing, with college representative students were treated to a catered lunch, also had the opportunity to speak further with the representatives. For NEN, I'm Derek Torres. Ten students from our region, only two from the Rochester City School District, took part in a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get a first-hand look at the state legislative process. Sierra Maldonado and Joel Garcia joined 200 students from the New York State in a three-day trip to our state's capital. For three months, every Saturday, they were trained by members of the Puerto Rican Hispanic Youth Leadership Institute. The program included team building exercises and college and career development. Throughout the program, we learned many different life lessons. One of the life lessons that stuck with me is how to speak in public. Before the program, I was very shy and didn't want to speak in public, but I had the opportunity to give a speech during the banquet and I now know that I can do it and it's not scary. El programa fue una experiencia maravillosa. Pudimos aprender The Hispanic Leadership Program was an excellent experience where I learned some important lessons like how to become a leader and help others to establish roles and accomplish them and never give up. The statewide program is designed to promote and develop leadership and public speaking skills and Hispanic high school students. And that does it for this month's news. Thanks for watching NEN Northeast News. I'm Tajani Blyder.